the Maybach 62. It is called the Maybach 62 because it is 6.2 meters long. You got it in a shorter wheelbase version, the Maybach 57, which is 5.7 meters long. This is my all time favorite car. One of the cool features on the vehicle, the roof in front has solar panels in it, but I'll tell you more about that a little bit later. Let's jump inside the incredible Maybach. Welcome to the Maybach 62. And the first feature you will notice on board this car is the door opens nearly 90 degrees. And the reason why is because this car was designed to be a chauffeur driven vehicle. So if you were hiring the car out or if you were wealthy enough to afford one of these and let's say your wife was getting married and she had a massive wedding gown, she could get into the car easily. So there we go. Now the door is quite far. So there's a button over here that if you pull this button, the door will actually close and this car came out in the early 2000s. So this is not a new feature to Maybach or Mercedes-Benz. Now there is a host of features and technology on board this car that'll blow your mind away. One of the first features I want to show you is the reclining seat position on this car. Now you will notice there is a lot of space in this car, right? So if I push this button over here, it'll activate the reclining seat for me. And now I can relax in comfort. The car does have massaging seats as well as heat-related sorry ventilated and heated seats <laughs> and you can manually adjust the seat as well so i can put the seat back into its normal position or i can tell the car you know what let's lower this for now i want to sit comfortably now let me show you some of the incredible features on board this vehicle so one of the things that the car has once the seat is back in its position there we go if I lift this panel up over here, you have a remote to control the two screens on the car. And if I put the screen on, it actually displays the Maybach logo, which is awesome. You then have a built-in telephone. You actually have one over here and one in front of the car. And then you have a massive panel over here with a lot of buttons. Now, what these buttons do is they allow you to open and close the blinds on the car, so whether it's these blinds over here, the blinds on that door, or the blinds on the back of the vehicle, you can open and close your blinds, which means that the privacy in this car unrivaled. Then this button over here blocks you from the driver. So that is your partition and it is completely soundproof. So the driver cannot hear our conversations in the back of the car because obviously this is a chauffeur driven vehicle. So privacy is of the utmost importance. So he can no longer hear what we are saying. Then what you can do is at the touch of a button, you can make it go completely transparent. So I can now see through the partition or I can block it at the touch of a button, which is so, so incredibly cool on board this car. So that is the partition on the vehicle and it can go from transparent to opaque at the touch of a button. So let's lower that back down and now obviously I can communicate with the driver. But let's say the partition is up, right? And let's block out the partition. How do I speak to the driver? Well, the car has that figured out because the car has an intercom system. So I push this button here. I can now speak to the driver in front of the vehicle and if the driver wants to speak to me he needs to ring me in the back of the car incredible technology on board this vehicle now you have a beautiful panoramic roof over here and this panoramic roof actually has what the later s-class models had magic sky control at the touch of a button it goes from transparent to opaque so you can either allow the sun to come into the car by pressing the button there, now the sun can penetrate into the vehicle, or you can block out the sun's UV rays at the touch of a button. And if that still wasn't enough, you could actually close the visor all together.
how insane it is utterly insane i'm going to close this and look how dark it gets inside this car's interior and i'll just leave these blinds open just so you can see but let's open that back up and let's open up the sunroof on the car and there we go you can see right through the roof the touch of a button it literally either opens or closes or goes transparent or opaque it is insane the technology on board this car insane now i'm going to close this over here and in here in here there we go you have an ashtray as well as a lighter over here and then these buttons here allow you to lock and unlock the car switch on the reading lights and you can actually intensify or decrease the intensity of the lights that are displayed in the vehicle here you have a panic button so if you are in any emergency just push the panic button over here car has a telecommunication system so it is able to call for help which is absolutely insane now if i lift this up over here in here we have a fridge because naturally you would want to put your champagne in here so we have an onboard fridge but there's another cool feature that this car has and if i pull on this leather strap over here you will see the car has its tables so when you are driving well when your driver is driving and you still need to do work then you can just recline your seat and you can see there's a lot of space to do so and now you can do your work in the back of the Maybach. How awesome is this? And I mean, look at the quality of this. I mean, it's just, it's insane. It is absolutely incredible what Mercedes did with the Maybach. Let's put this back and I'll put myself in a more comfortable position. Obviously, there's one for the passenger as well. Which brings me to this panel over here. Now, over here, you have your DVD player. And in here, you have your six CD changers. So you can put in six discs in the car. Here, you have storage. So if you want to store something in here, you can do that. And then here on the top, this is where you house the champagne flutes for your Maybach, which is absolutely crazy. Here we go. Now, this massive panel over here, because there's so much on this car. This here is just more storage for you. If you wanna hide something in the car, you can put it in over there. The car then has four zone climate control. So I can obviously choose my own climate in the back of the vehicle. And there are so many air vents on this car. There's an air vent over here. There's an air vent over there. There's an air vent over here. So I can choose whatever temperature I want. That passenger can choose whatever temperature they would like. And it is an individual climate control on board this car here we have more storage that is basically where you would keep the remotes for the screens on board the car and then over here you've got more storage there if we push this button here okay it doesn't want to come down but there's more storage over there ah there we go which is very very cool and then in here more storage over there now the Maybach 62 is called a 62 because it's 6.2 meters long. You then also have a Maybach 57, which is 5.7 meters long. So it's the short wheelbase version of this car. So what Mercedes-Benz did was, what Maybach did was, in this door bin over here, and it's no longer in the car, there's a little bracket here, a little holder. And what that holder had was a Maybach branded vanity mirror. Because on the Maybach 57, it doesn't have this technology, right? So it had a folding mirror over here. So you could obviously look at your makeup before you got out of the car. But the 62 does not have a place to put the mirror. So Maybach actually gave you a mirror that you could use, a handheld mirror to freshen up your makeup. And that mirror went in over here, which is so cool. That brings me to these three dials over here. So when you are sitting in your Maybach and you are driving, you can actually see how fast your driver is driving. You can see the time as well as it would display the outside temperature. So when you got to your destination, you knew exactly how hot or cold it was. This is just some of the incredible features on the back of this car. Let me show you the front. 
Now at the back of the Maybach, what differentiated this was the light bar that ran the entire length of the back of the car over here. And what I love about this vehicle is the attention to detail. So if you open up the boot or the trunk on the car, look at this beautiful chrome strip over here. I mean, this is a part of the vehicle that the owner would probably almost never see on the car. But look at the attention to detail Mercedes-Benz and Maybach paid to this car. I mean, there's even leather straps over here. How incredible is that? You also have chrome that flows through here as well, leather on the inside of the car. I mean, it is just absolutely incredible. Now, here's another design clue on the market that you probably didn't know. If you look at the taillight of the car and you look at the boot lid, you will actually see that it looks almost as though it's floating above the car. It is the same design language that follows through for the design of the W221 S-Class. How insane is that? The rear design on the 221 S-Class was inspired by the Maybach. It is absolutely incredible. Jump to the front of the car and your chauffeur had one of the most incredible seats of any car. Now, the car is powered by a 5.5 liter V12 that produced 405 kilowatts, 900 Newton meters of torque, and we sent that power through a five speed automatic gearbox. Now, you will notice that there is no sunroof for the driver. Hmm, and I'll tell you why. Because over here, the car has solar panels on the outside of the roof. Solar panels. This car came out in the early 2000s. The car has solar panels. And the reason why the car has solar panels is when your chauffeur stopped the vehicle and you got out, the car actually used the solar panels to power the vehicle's climate control system. I mean, that is just insane. Absolutely insane. The luxury flows here as well. So your driver is utterly bathed in luxury. Got beautiful wood, carbon fiber trim, exquisite leathers on the car. It is just a phenomenal place to be. Remember I said, if you want to speak to the people in the back of the car, you use the intercom system. So, and that pings to the back so that they know that the driver wants to speak to you. I can lower down the partition over here and then I can control the blinds in the back of the car. So I'm closing the blinds there at the back. There we go. I can lower the partition. Well, I can raise the partition back up again. And there we go. From transparent to opaque at the touch of a button. Let me show you. So if I just do that, I can lower that down and I can raise that back up again and then do that. It is so cool, so, so cool. Now, over here, you have storage here. And then this here is also more storage over here. And then, obviously this car is quite old. If I push this button over here, let's just move us back there. If I push this button here, the phone springs up. How insane. I mean, this car came out, I think it was 2002. The technology that this car had back then is just absolutely incredible. Oh, check out the cup holders. So cup holder one over there, cup holder two over there. Absolutely insane. And naturally, the car benefited from all of the luxury amenities that you got from a Mercedes-Benz. So to start the car, you actually push this button here. And the car will start up or switch off. It also had air suspension so you could raise or lower the car and it also had adaptive cruise control. So the Distronic system, which is able to maintain the distance between you and the car in front of you, was all fitted to this vehicle. If we fold down this visor here, the visor does that. It can extend and look at how beautifully designed this was. And then also this comes down as well. So you had complete blockage from the sun. Handles, wood, which is absolutely stunning on the car. The Maybach logo over here, wooden buttons on the steering wheel. And what was very cool on the Maybach is your traditional Mercedes-Benz has three driver settings to save the seats, 
the mirrors and the steering wheel, right? But the Maybach actually had five. So if one of your five chauffeurs were off on that day, one of the other ones could just select whichever seat setting they preferred and it would be called up at the touch of a button. This is just some of the incredible features on board the Maybach 60. Two. Now you would have noticed that I didn't say that this is a Mercedes Maybach. I've constantly referred to it as a Maybach because when this car was built, Maybach was a standalone company. So it was not built as a Mercedes Maybach. It was actually built as a Maybach. Hence why it's known as a Maybach 62. And that is why it has a Maybach logo on the hood over there. So the hood ornament is the Maybach symbol, not the Mercedes symbol, like the current Maybach has, the Mercedes Maybach S-Class. So yeah, this is the incredible Maybach 62.